wins in the loser's bracket. Neither of these players even seated to be in top eight. Now, this matchup, Wolf being a nice like character in the air with his range does give Mimmin some issues. However, because Wolf has Wolf's recovery, sometimes he can't just actually yes. die. Yeah. So right now, just trying to find his way in. These opening stages of our grand final set. This is where the players are really going to be feeling each other out. Finds that dash attack into the forward air. Trying to get an edge guard. He could have just gone for Nair, I yeah, feel Yeah, like. that's what I thought he was going to go for. But he really just wanted to end it right there. And yep. Doesn't so matter. Just, air. you know what? Oh, the laser. Oh, but Amarix finds his way back. Right. And Ruse ends up losing the stock. Really unfortunate like overextension on that part by Ruse. Uh -huh. And really good of MRX to be like, nope. You can die right here. Yeah, so the 10th and 11th seeds here in Grand Finals. Feels like, a, feels like a repeat of what we saw last time. Uh, I, th I don't think Krishan or Goofy Goober were seated that high either. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a back throw. But Marks can survive if he DIs to the corner, which he oh, does. Dude. With those two players, no one was surprised they were here. And I would probably say the same thing about these two players as yes. well. It feels like even though they may have not been seated quite as highly, everyone knew they had runs like this in them. And right now, I mean, Marx might take this. It's going to be a long road to win two sets against Ruse, especially if you fall victim to dash attacks like that. But Marx was able to survive for so long on that stock. We're going to see if killing early is going to be a problem not for Ruse. I'm going to go for back throw there. I'm surprised. No. Just opting for the up throw and going to let Ruse take back stage control, which is why I'm not... I feel like there's a misinput. It has to be. Probably. Oh, there's a... Oh, no! no! And speaking of misinputs... He got up there instead of a B. Yeah. But you know what? Fair backer, not going to clean it up, but that laser... The laser, nah. Didn't catch the jump, Marks so Caught the good. jump. Or held the jump, rather. <laughs> Some, yeah, a lot of short hopping and throwing aerials on shields, but Marx is going to find the first hit in that interaction. Ooh, catches Ruse's jump. It feels like Ruse is jumping in a lot, and Amarx is starting to catch on to those habits. The down tilt is so good at low-profiling stuff. Like, it just went right under that back air. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Ruse is really looking for this back air right now, but Amarx is just he's just not letting him have it. Yeah. Oh, the that? up smash out of shield. He has caught so many people dropping their shields with that in the absolute last second. Yeah. To be, like... In, in MRX's defense, I think that was like the first or second up smash that he's thrown that set. Or like yeah. this set. Something really interesting about this set, which makes it even more unpredictable, these two have never played a bracket. Really? Yeah. This well, is the first time this has happened. It's a little bit surprising since they're not too far from each other right, yeah. compared to other like players. It's, in this it's bracket. just it's just never happened. I don't think any of the matchups between these top three players had happened before. Yeah, they're both playing this game of I don't want to deal with you right now, and Ruse almost got the correct option with that oh, back did here. that shield poke? Yes. Wow. That did shield is that basically shield a skittle. Poke? <laughs> Definitely well, looked like he kicked under the shield. Yeah, Amarx's shield looking like a skittle. Can't rely on it too much, and that's going to get him dash attacked in the corner. Ruse started that game down by quite a good deal, and he brought his way back. He's only two games away from winning the Arcadian. Yeah, if you're Ruse right now, you're feeling good. Like, you got a good start. Just got to keep going. Yeah, this is where you want to be. We're shaking his head. Still feels like he could be playing better. These are the situations where you can't get ahead of yourself. You can't think of yourself on that winner's podium, right? To be fair, he did SD that, like, second stock yes. at, like, a really early percent, yeah, and he yeah, still yeah. won that game. Uh -huh. So, like, the fact that you won like that, like, I, like, I, could, I could tell why he's, like, upset. It's a good sign. Yeah. But MRX definitely proven to, like, you, you've gotten so far in bracket, like, you have to, like, have the habitation. To, of like, course. Like, I mean, he lost to D3 Will. He got 3 0'd in their winner's bracket set, and then I think 3 0'd him back in their loser's bracket set. So, definitely a player who takes notes, who uses, um, just, like, figures out what to do in these matchups. And even if you haven't played against Ruse, you've definitely played against Wolf. I mean, you're in MDVA, right? Yeah. Min -min? Slowly getting a bit more popular in this region. Yeah, it definitely feels like it. Oh, but Wolf has always like throughout Ultimate, this character has definitely been up there in terms of like top tiers. Yeah, has been very consistent. 
Speaking of consistent right now, Ruz has been winning neutral a lot and not taking much damage in return. Thing is, so a lot of this bracket, Wolf has been ma making good use of, um, because Wolf has really good airspeed, fastball, like near, like near dodge, is yeah. really annoying to deal with sometimes. Just because, like, Wolf will immediately land, and, like, you don't have that much lag, so now you have to deal with Wolf again. Mm. Amaris finds a back throw. Oh, and we've got a grab here. Yeah. MRX being a little bit, mm, kind of not being as patient as we've usually seen him so far. It feels like Ruse is baiting him into going for a lot of stuff, which Ruse is then able to capitalize on. Yeah. Like, he's using that bait and punish play style to perfection mm, right almost now. Almost catches him there. I don't think he meant to jump like that, and, but you know what? Just, just Nair. Yeah. That forward tilt, Ruse is looking commanding right now. That he is dominating this grand final so far. I don't know about you, but that was a extra up to F-Tilt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, Ruse only two games away from winning this. He's trying to get himself to only one game away from winning this. Amarix has just had trouble getting anything to happen here. Oh, missed tech, but not able to get the right arm. Eh. You can tell Ruse really wants this fair or nair, oh, and MRX is go. like, no, I do not want to deal with this. Yeah, Ruse nodding. He was just kind of holding in there, yeah. and he got hit a bunch of times in a row. But now you've got MRX at the ledge. Oh, no. That was really good quick picking on MRX's part. Yes. But you are still in this advantage. So much pressure. Ruse is not letting him breathe. Uh, unfortunately, not going to get like any punish there, but it doesn't matter. Just wait for the option MRX throws out, and Punish correctly. And this is about to be a low percent two stock if MRX doesn't get anything right, started. Ruse, you're what trolling. are you doing? Ruse against a character like Min Min, you can't you know let what? that happen, who, but who, he who still cares? cleans it up with a back air. Who cares? He's, you know what? When you got a move like Wolf back here, like, just, just throw it out. Ruse is throwing away stocks in this grand finals, and he is still winning. You know He's who does that? Game away. Dexter. Hey, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and Dexter's pretty high on the PR. Might not be this season if he doesn't go to more tournaments, but... <laughs> but Ruse showing that. Yeah. You, you don't even really have to be from Maryland to just be a nice wolf. Yeah, all right. He's just got to keep his composure for one more game. He looks very confident right now. Was he looking at Fox? <laughs> and he, he, so MRX definitely looked like he looked at Fox and said no. Yeah, baby. I think he's just going to stick with what he knows best. This could be the last game of the tournament. This is where you need to keep your composure. This is where champions are crowned at the Arcadian. This is where the next generation of PR players is fostered. And Ruse is looking to make his case. I mean, he was so close last time, yeah. right? He was honorable mention. Uh, he wants to be on that PR next time it rolls around. If someone argues that this is why HM shouldn't be allowed at Arcadians, it'd be kind of funny, though. <laughs> right. I mean, the other one, right? Because Dark was Maryland HM, and he yeah. only got fifth. So. Oh. Finds a grab. Amaris had a much better start to that game. But he's still in kind of a tough spot in this corner. Oh. Oh, but not going to get that wow. side Wow. Somehow got his way around that arm, that ram ram. Fortunate for Ruse, not fortunate for MRX. But now, uh, this, like, Ruse has been really good about deciding when to, like, go in for his hits. Yeah. But MRX, really good at, like, uh, paying attention. He's going to taunt. I'm smash out of shield. He taunted. <laughs> He's been doing a lot of taunting, and it worked out in that Lucas set. Not yeah, really looking like it's this, working out this, here. You, oh, you almost got a taunt to get bodied. <laughs> so close. You still might. I mean, if you don't get this stock first, that would be rough after taunting. There's the up air. Back here. Uh, Ooh, and the up tilt. tilt. And yeah, Marx, if you're a Marx right now, you got to be kicking yourself for that taunt. However, he equalizes right there right. with the Megawatt. Uh, some players definitely, like, they taunt to, like, power up. Yes. And, like, at least it shows that MRX is still in the game. Oh, look at so much so much damage. He definitely is still in this. I mean, this game is a lot closer than any of the other ones were. That using that down tilt. probably kill MRX, though. And I think Ruiz, like, rolled back in his chair because he knew he, like, missed barely. Yeah. I mean, the down tilt, again, so close to low profiling stuff. Oh, and you're dead. No way to get back. Another taunt coming out from MRX. He's saying, this Grand Finals, I wanted to go at least one more game. Ideally, a lot more games. Yeah, but Ruse wants to go home. He wants this in three. Finds the grab. Oh, looking for the dash deck. Seemed like he had 
the rollaway scouted just wasn't able to get there in time. His hit rate of dash attack has been like really high yes. for that one. Ooh, rolling right past the forward tilt pressure. Tries to like go behind Tomahawk grab, but... Oh no! <laughs> what is happening? Four um, smash attacks in five seconds and none of them hit. Yeah. Well, of them one of them kind of hit. <laughs> no real punishment either, but because of the scramble situation, MRX is going to get some percent there. All right, there's an up smash. Oh, the parry into the down smash. All right, oh, you know what? What are you doing? Well, that's what you, that's what Ruse did at the last yeah. game, right? So you throw a stock away. Yeah, you know what? You know what? For the megawatt it's, there it's, kill. It's just a bait. Yeah. <laughs> for both of them, the the SD into win. Yeah. True combo. Amarek says we're not going home just yet. There is more Smash Ultimate to be played here at the Xanadu Ultimate Winter Arcadian. Hmm. Pulling out one last trick, the SD into immediately catches you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pulling out all the stops right now just to get that game. I'm curious if Roos is just going to go back to PS2 or if he's going to try a different counterpick. Would be very Xanadu as to have all like it all just be PS2. Right. I feel like that would be the true um, the true essence of MDVA would be. Oh, yeah. yeah, here we go. I don't think we're leaving this stage yeah. until the tournament's over. Wouldn't be an MDVA arcade. Either. We are at home right now. Both of these players, not really at home. I mean, traveling from Virginia to get here, um, about 45 minutes up into Maryland. Ooh. A laser for a ram. Finds a grab, but not able to do much with it. I mean, Ruz is jumping a lot in those situations. He's not just landing. Because if you just land there, you get hit by the arm. Gonna get that Nair into that bear. Oh, there's no jump here. Oh, uh, barely able to make his way back. Finds the grab. When, back throw. Remember when that got buffed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, finds that megawatt. That sound effect is always so satisfying. It's got to sound pretty satisfying if you're in Marx now, but you still got to seal out the stock. You were a little bit late, but that you found the up smash. Him. That caught, like, Wolf's toe. That move is massive. One of the best up smashes in the game for sure. Oh, no tech. And Marx gets down smashed. Still able to make it back, barely. Wow, that, like you said earlier, he's just sliding on his back air. His use of down tilt has been excellent, but he's not going to get under that last back air. Stocks are even. Bruce wants to end this now. He does not want this to go to a game five. And right now, both of them just spacing. We're just trying to use that laser. Marx has got these arms coming out. Both, like, playing very respectfully. Just yeah, like, and now, Marx was stuck in the corner, but it feels like he's gotten center again. However, Ruse getting some hits. Okay, now this, the roles are reversed. Marx is now the one keeping Ruse in the corner. Oh, going down with that neutral air, a little bit predictable. Ruse finds the grab. MRX realizing that Ruse has almost always just gone to dash attack off these tech chases, so deciding to roll in this for the first time. Yeah, it feels like he's gone for the safe option instead of going for the hard reads, which in grand finals is what you're tempted to do, right? Like, you don't want to lose, so you're not going to necessarily bank it all on big options. Yeah. That forward tilt, speaking of safe oh, options. Oh, okay. You're going to respond with the taunt back? All right, very bold <laughs> to taunt when you're one stock away from winning the tournament because MRX finds the grab into the down throw. Oh, trying to call out a jump. It didn't happen. Mark's yeah. getting a little bit antsy, going for some hard reads. Oh, gets the Dragon Breath and taunts right back. Last stock, just about 0%. Ruse gets the first hits. All right, that was a quick 52. Oh, you, such a scary so, spot. Yeah, that was scary. You get fared at ledge and you're dead. Oh, there we go. Oh, the down tilt. Not but quite hitting Vinman hits the arms. Correctly. Oh, what a great air dodge to get around all the pressure. And then immediately um, throw out the ramps. Oh, this ball. could be the last stock of the tournament, but Amarix is trying to say no. I don't want it to be the last stock. His jump is gone. Makes it back. Oh, gonna <laughs> guess correctly with that roll. People are screaming in the audience. Yeah, this What's is crazy happen? right now. The spaghetti. <laughs> oh, no, he oh neutral get ups right into it. Doesn't wow. get the timing. Really good oh. from Roos to hug the wall and not going to go for anything. A good roll away. Extension. Uh, that forward tilt. This, that this ledge situation might be it. Is Ruse able to capitalize? He's not. Amarix gets back. I feel like one of them is going to take a bump smash. Oh, there's a grab. Yeah, I feel like someone's going to hit the shield wrong, right? Oh, oh I thought that was going to be He grabbed it the wrong them. way. Up air. How do you get off ledge? How do you get off ledge? 
He put the himself at ledge, but oh. he gets the grab, but fortunately for him. Back air, he just goes to the corner. That's fine. That could have been completely wrong for a ruse, but... Grab? Can I get another grab? I don't think that's it. No. The next one might. Not going to go out in there. Doesn't want to risk it. Yeah. Oh, Your throwing those arms out. Oh, no! Though. And the down and smash. Ruse. That's it. Ruse wins the Arcadian. Very excellent awareness by Ruse, realizing that as long as he held down smash, just wait. Yeah. You can just react to them coming yeah. back up. What a performance. What a run from Ruse. Yeah. Took out everyone in his bracket path. I don't even think he went to game five. No, that oh, was he... excellent stuff from Ruse. Yeah. No one, like... three, one, three one Amarix, three one Luka, three one Generic. All these three one sets. Nobody was even really close to beating him. So I'll admit, I thought Ruse had a really good shot at top baiting the Arcadian, but yep. I wouldn't say he was like, oh, he's easily. Oh, okay, he went game five with Moon Lady, but other than that, 3 1 and 3 0 oh sets the whole way through. Dominant performance in that grand finals. It looks it got a little bit shaky at the end, but able to clutch it out, finds that down smash, and that's going to be it. Also, despite all of top 64 being best of five, not ending super late. It's only 10 on 16. Time. This is like 16 this minutes past when we were scheduled then. So. Pretty well ran pretty tournament. Yeah, I mean, I have had an excellent time here. These Arcadian events are always so fun. Uh, this is my first time getting to cast the top eight of an event this big, so it's been I a great time. really like, so the last, I, actually every Arcadian, I'm mm. commentating the top eights. Um, the first one I commentated all top eight with File. Nice. Last one I commented the first half of top eight with Let It Rain. And this time I, I can't say the top of it with you. Heck yeah, good stuff. All right, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us at this amazing event. Uh, I'm Anonymous Badger. I'm Matador. And you we'll can see find you next him time. And his Twitter right there, and my Twitter.